Well, she is giving it all away. Literally, Doris Buffett, the sister of legendary investor Warren Buffett, giving away her fortune along with her brother, $100 million to date. She joins us now to talk about all of it. Thanks for being here. I'm very happy to it's be here. It's a pleasure for us to have you. Thank you. Well. I want to start off with something I, I find very interesting that you've said, and, and you talk about the fact that you try not to give away money or time or effort to things that aren't really a life-changing situation. That's absolutely true. That's been our goal from the very beginning. Why is that so important to you? Well, it's sort of when you inherit this kind of money, it's a trust, really, to how, how well, what, how, what you can do with it. And uh, I'd rather tackle social issues that are big and horrible and then frittered away on other less important things. One of the things that sets you apart from many other philanthropists is who you'll help and who you won't. And in the foreword to your book, uh, Warren Buffett, your brother, writes, if you've created your own problems, don't bother to call Doris. If, someone underserved blow, uh, if some underserved blow has upended you, however, she will spend both her money and time to get you back on your feet. That's true. I, I wore out a sofa one summer just making phone calls to, to people the first summer that this happened. And uh, we do. We'll go to any length. I've been as... I've, I've, Maybe people laugh at this, but I've been at the Walmart, you know, at 9:30 at night, finding bedding for seven children that are sleeping on the floor in northern Missouri. Uh, we uh, we really go at it on a very personal basis. I've seen some of the letters that have been written in about how you have changed people's lives, and through your foundation, the Sunshine Sunshine Lady Foundation. In the mission statement, you talk about having special empathy for working poor and families in crisis, and this goes back, Doris, to growing up in the depression I'm sure it does you know I hadn't analyzed the whole thing I just knew it was what I wanted to do and uh, but I know it goes back to that and I you know I can just remember a couple of incidents when I was a small child that must have made a profound impression on me because it's hard to see people they had a certain look on their faces they were gaunt and hopeless they weren't uh, connivers or trying to play the game. They, they, just, uh, they were just worn out, and uh, you could see it in their faces. Just last week, you went up to Sing Sing Prison uh, here yeah. in New York with your brother, with mm -hmm. Warren. Yeah. And you guys saw the graduation. Yes, we saw. The, we were part of the graduation. We applauded wildly, and, uh, and it's really a gut-level experience. And I've gotten brilliant letters from them, and they're smart, but they want the education. And one of the prime rules uh, I've found in philanthropy is if you want it for somebody desperately and they don't want it that much for themselves, you might as well tear up your dollar bills. I really do look at everything I do as an investment. And as Warren puts it in the foreword to your book, he says you combine a soft heart with a hard head, looking at it as an investment, yeah. what will work and what will not. Well, it's not in the Buffett DNA to waste money, as you may have noticed. And so I... <laughs> I don't have to account to anybody, but if I did, I'd want that sheet to look good. Well, I know you have a lot of work ahead. I, I, <laughs> I read that you, that you said that you won't give up until the final check doesn't go through. You really plan to give it all away. Oh, I do. Yeah, I, I mean, I can't take it with me. I think we've demonstrated that. So why wouldn't I? I mean, my family's taken care of, and uh, uh, I, I get so much joy out of doing this. Why would I make myself miserable and hang on to it like Hetty Green or somebody? No, no, I'm enjoying it. I love it. Your book, Giving It All Away, right here. Doris Buffett, thanks so much.